Today we're going to jump into the Ray Neo Air 2 XR glasses. We're going to go through specs. We're going to go through uh, dimensions. We're going to go through everything that comes in the box. Uh, also going to show you some footage of what this might look like. Uh, and let's jump in right now. Okay, straight out of the box. Here we go. A lot of different information here. Obviously, you've got the OLED screen. Immersive experience. And here we go. So we've got a beautiful box here, as you can see here on these glasses. Uh, if you've seen these already, you've been looking at them before. They're almost like the Wayfair glasses without the outside. There are the Air 2s. Come in this nice package here. And all of your user manual, your prescription demo, your USB-C cable uh to C cable and then your nose pads we'll talk about this so if you do have current glasses you can use these and look at this carrying case right high end right you've got a stretchable thing there that you can elastic band straight out of the box let's just move this up here so you can see here Shed some light on that. So this is the cover this is in the glasses itself so we're going to pull this off right here we're going to peel this off and you get that just nice shine reflective piece. And again, no frames around the edges. And the beautiful part is we flip this over. So I wanna try and show all of this to you. This is all adjustable. And you can see that you've got your OLED screens right in here. You've got your sensor here. We'll go into all the details. You've got an adjustable nose rest here adjustable ear and stems, your audio, your power, all of the things, and your USB-C. So let's jump in and go into a lot of details with the glasses themselves. So here in the external package, before we jump into the glasses, we're gonna look at everything straight out of the box. Packaged really, really nicely. You've got your USB-C to USB-C. The thing I like about this is you've got this jack that actually goes into the side of the glasses, as you can see right there on the light. This goes into the glasses. We'll talk about what that looks like. You've got a massive instruction manual in every possible language that you could think of. Almost looks like a Bible. You have your prescription lenses, and then you've got an additional nose rest here, the nose pads that you can use. So we're gonna put these back. Now, when you jump into the glasses, there's gonna be some stickers that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you pull off. So there's one right here, we're gonna pull this off. There's one right here on the other side, we're gonna pull this off. And then you've got all your information here as far as your model number, everything here. So looking at the glasses themselves, you can see that you've got your OLED screens here, which is going to give you a 201 inch view uh, space, right? When you have them on your face. Now, again, you cannot control the screen. It is controlled by whatever device you're plugged into here. And so let's just walk you through uh, some of the things here that are adjustable. So you have both of your stems can move up or down. You're gonna get that click. So there's three different levels. And that's on both sides. And you'll notice that I have not taken the protection off of the OLED screens yet. So down and then down again. And so just to give you some, the angles, what you're looking at, this one is all the way at the top. This one is at the bottom. So I'm gonna have them both up at the top. And again, you can see that they're even here. This is also adjustable here. There's a little tiny pin in here that you can just pull these out. You get three clicks all the way in. You'll wanna make sure that you get all of these measurements right to best fit the actual glasses when you have them on. So the total weight of these bad boys is gonna be 78 grams. Again, this is the Sony OLED display right in here as you can see i'm still leaving the safety protection on because i want to make sure that we have that there 
So a lot of other things here that we can look at. The image size is 201 inches. You're going to get a ton of colors. Uh, we're into multiple colors. You've got these two speakers right here. They're going to be right above your ear. We'll talk a little bit more about the speakers and the sound and everything, the different modes that you can have right here. And this sensor right here, you've got an accelerometer, uh, accelerometer, a gyroscope, proximity, geomagnetism sensor. So it's going to sense all of that here. You've got the nearsighted lenses that you can plug in if you're nearsighted. And when you're looking at the eye box, you're looking at 11.2 millimeters by 6.5 millimeters. And they have actually upped the audio from the, body is just like the, noise. Uh, the ones or just the previous versions. And then right here on the back of this, you've got your USB-C to USB-C type. And so you could see that this actually just fits right in here. And we're going to give you some gameplay or um, I'll be playing some games you won't be able to see on the screen, but I'll try and get something on here so that you can see what it looks like in the screen. So it's not just for gameplay, right? You can use these for travel, for business, for work, for pleasure. So we're gonna pull these off. So the beautiful thing about this display and this uh, connection is it's just plug and play with anything with a display port. You can see that I've actually got a game plugged in. I'm on my MacBook Pro, I'm playing a game called Beast. And uh, before you get everything set up again, we talked about some of the measurements and different things that you would want to adjust. You can hear the audio, hopefully coming out of my ear. Uh, there's also whisper mode, right? So whisper mode is, you can hear that. We hold that down. I can still hear it if it's on my ears, but if I'm on a flight or something like that, nobody else around me can actually hear this until I take it off a of whisper mode. Now, the beautiful thing is, is whenever you plug in this display here, whatever you've plugged into, that's gonna run everything. So whether that's a switch, an Xbox, uh, a phone, uh, or anything like that with a display port, a computer, um, a Mac, a PC, anything like that, an iPhone, right? You can basically control the glasses from that device. And this screen is incredible. So when you throw this on, it's covering my entire, you know, viewpoint with the glasses. Now, visually, I can see what's happening below and above and around, but once you get into the screen, depending on your brightness, and you've got some brightness settings right here. Uh, let's see if I can get a close up right there. So there's brightness settings right here. You have your volume settings on here. When we talked about the audio, there's audio both on the top and the bottom of the stems. And again, it's no syncing or anything like that. It's just a plug and play when you jump on uh, to a display port. So we talked about the plug and play. You can see that we've got this end plugged into the glasses. And then on the other end, we've got the USB-C. And again, any device that has a display port, you just plug right in here and the device will control the glasses over here. So then you would just throw these on and you are good to go. So remember anything with a display and USB-C port and you are good to go. So coming back to the glasses, one of the upgrades that they made between uh, version one and version two is they've added six decibels of sound. So again, I've turned those lights on a little bit brighter so you can see there's audio right here. So there's audio coming in on your right ear, your left ear. And again, this is on top of your ear. And then if I flip these over, you can see right here where it bends, there's audio coming off of the bottom. So when you set these on your ear, you've got audio coming right here and right here. Now, when we talk about your controls, again, I'm gonna try and get a close up view here where you can tilt it right there. You've got your brightness. So your brightness down, your brightness up. Over here, you've got your volume up, your volume down. And then you also have your whisper mode here. So when we talk about controlling everything from the glasses itself, this is perfect. I'm gonna try and grab some footage so I can show you some of the gameplay of what this looks like, but not only gameplay, the office play, and I'll kind of throw that in here. Again, I wanted to make sure that everything was good for that. 
they have upgraded the eye box. So inside of these OLD screens, you can see there's that little tiny square in there that gets projected into your eyes. They've made those a little bit bigger, uh, or the new version is 11.2 to 6.5 millimeter. And you've got 10 level adjustment for brightness. So depending on how light it is outside or in the room that you're in, you can adjust these as needed. Again, when we talk about how and where we're using these, think about flights, car rides, train rides, in the office, uh, watching movies from, again, your own bed. You could be laying in bed watching movies and you're gonna get a 201 inch screen in front of you, but you're also laying down. Just needs to be plugged into something that has a port. So as far as the make of this, right, and the wearability, you've got this kind of soft curved here, silicone, skin friendly right here on the inside on both of these. And the temples and the nose pads are adjustable in three positions, which we already showed you at the beginning. The glasses only weigh 78 grams. There is also, right, the customized myopic lens that you could use and you just snap on right here if you have uh, nearsightedness. We've got also the certified eye protection here with the actual glasses themselves. So we talk about expansion with other devices. We talked about all of the different things. Basically, if it has a USB-C port and a display option on the device, you can connect to it. Uh, some devices don't have a display port, maybe some of the older iPhones, the older, some of Samsung's or Pixels. Um, the newer versions have a display port um, built right in. If you're gonna use the Joy Dock or the Switch, you would need to get the adapter that goes along with it. Uh, that's for just the gaming stuff, right? iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 do not need um, the additional package, right? Those have the display port built in them. You can work with pretty much any um, app on those devices. So you can jump on Netflix, HBO, Paramount, um, Hulu, uh, Amazon Prime, whatever, and you can connect all of those and watch those through these glasses. Highly yep. recommend them. Not only are they stylish, but they're super easy to use and connect to any sort of display that you want to use.